Today is part three of our living room makeover series. Welcome back to the channel. Today is part three of our living room makeover series. So if you have not watched the first two episodes of this series, I will leave them both linked for you in the description below along with the entire living room makeover playlist. But essentially to get to this point, we thrifted a new couch, we did some touch up paint, some caulking, we flipped our coffee table and rearranged the space to start to bring it closer to the vision that we designed for this space in episode number one. So definitely go check those two out. Today is all about the windows. I have probably been the most excited to get my hands on these windows out of all of the projects that we're gonna be doing in the space because our blinds don't work. They have not worked in years. And it is always a struggle. Sometimes they wanna stay up, sometimes they wanna stay down. They never wanna do what you want them to do. And being that this is the front of our house, it just feels very invasive if you can't get the blinds down. You feel very exposed. And so I'm very excited to get actual curtains up. Not only is it gonna soften the space, but it's gonna solve a problem of our window treatments functioning. And I, I'm just so excited to see these windows look the way that I've envisioned them looking in my head for so long. So let's go get started and take these things down. That was more difficult than I anticipated. It was really wedged in there, especially on the two windows. Doing it here, I mean, it kind of just fell off, but those two were kind of difficult, but got them off and gave the windows a little bit of a cleaning. I know they still look super dirty and it's because they are. <laughs> They're really dirty on the outside. And then we also, this one, this door, the insulation has, there's a word for it. Um, I don't know why expired is the word that comes to mind, but basically it went bad. And so there's spots in that no matter if we had it squeaky clean on the inside and the outside. But at least the inside is clean and now I can get started painting. I'll send her my heart covered as a gift and hope that you take it into her side. So here's where I got to yesterday. I got a solid coat on all of the windows and the door trim, but as you can see, I was very sloppy. And so I'm definitely gonna have to go clean that up. Uh, luckily I do have plenty of our wall paint and we kind of needed a second coat around these areas anyway, cause they never got painted fully to begin with. And so that's totally fine. And it's actually part of the reason why I didn't bother taping was because I knew for me personally, it'd be a lot easier to go back with the other paint and trim it out with a steady hand than it would be to go waste my time trying to tape it off and still not get a clean line. And then also I didn't tape off the windows because that takes so much time. Usually you'll have bleed anyway, and you can actually just go back and scrape the paint off with a razor blade and it's 
way easier. So I've kind of just been doing steady of a hand as I can and I will clean it all up, but it's looking really good. I'm going to do one more coat of the black paint and there's like one area that I really kind of missed over here. Um, like right here, I kind of missed this side, especially down here, you see? So I want to clean that up and get one more coat and then I will go through and trim it out with the wall paint and then we should be able to hang the curtains as soon as it all dries. So I'm really excited to see this come together. But already it's kind of really given the windows some presents, which I love. So I'm very excited about this and I just can't wait to finish it up now. Okay, so here's where I ended up. As you can see, I've got some places along the molding. And from a distance, it, it's basically done. But for me, I know that's going to drive me nuts. So I'm going to take these little baby brushes. And I'm going to go in and just touch up the edges. And then I have this scraper that Josh found for me to scrape off the paint from around the edges. And I'm doing this left-handed right now, but it actually works pretty good. So just got to clean some of this up and we'll about be done and ready to hang the curtains. Okay, it is time to finally hang the curtain rod. So. I've done most of the prep. I may still go back and do a few touch-ups, but I'm gonna go ahead and get Josh to help me while he's here. So if you watched in the first episode when we did the planning, my original plan was to DIY the curtain rod because I didn't think that I could find one that would cover the entire span of our windows and especially not for a good price. So I was gonna DIY it and I priced out all the materials I would need, like every connector, every everything, and it was going to be around $100. And I thought that that was decent for, you know, basically a custom curtain rod. Well, I just happened to be scrolling on Instagram and I saw someone post about this really long curtain rod that they got for like $50 on Amazon. And I was like, what? I went and found it and sure enough, so that's half the price and I don't have to DIY it, which I was thrilled about. So I will make sure to link it for you in case you need a really long span of curtains too. Um, it comes in both a black and then I think it also had like a really beautiful brass color as well. Um, but it's definitely more of like a polished brass. I'm going with the black because that's kind of what I had in my design. So yeah, I will definitely leave it linked for you in case you need a really long curtain rod too. It was a great deal and we're going to see how it works. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small
a step back to see the truth around you from a distance you can tell and Josh helped me hang the curtains and this room looks like a completely different room. It is insane. So we actually have this same exact kind of spread of windows on the other side of our house where the like dining area is. And he was like, are you gonna do this over there too? And I was like, that's the plan. Eventually when we get there, uh, right now it kind of acts as like a little storage space. So we don't, we don't use that space very often, but when we get there, we'll definitely be doing this because it looks so good. Anyway, enough teasing you. I decided that I also, while I was kind of painting and dealing with like the trim in this space, I kind of want to paint the door. This is technically like the front door of the house, but it's kind of tucked under our carport and it's on the side of the house. Eventually we're wanting to add a door to the front where we currently have like a sliding glass door. That's way down the line. So I really just want to go ahead and paint the door black while I'm kind of already in painting mode in here before moving on to the next set of projects. And then I will show you how the windows and everything turned out so far.
I cannot even believe that this is the same room we started in, even at the beginning of this episode, much less where we actually started, which is just absolutely crazy. I don't know if you remember what this space looked like before we even started, but it had barely anything in it. All the furniture was pushed up against the walls. Since then, we have added a couch rearranged. We've painted the coffee table. We have added a painted door and curtains. And we're really starting to bring this space together. But I am still in complete disbelief how big of a difference simply the curtains made from the last episode into this one. It looks like a completely different room from where we started to now. I mean, we took this space that kind of looked like a shell of a room, not super cozy, even though it was starting to come together. And just by adding curtains, all of a sudden this space feels taller, it feels luxurious, it feels cozy. I mean, it is absolutely insane the power that curtains can make. So. I'm going to leave that with you. If you have been neglecting your windows, please stop because I wish I had done this years ago. It was truly such a simple change and for our huge span of windows, which is absolutely not normal, it cost me under $150 to basically create a custom curtain rod and curtains. And that's crazy. So I will definitely leave both the rod and the curtains that I use. Oh, and the curtain clips. I'll, I'll link those for you too, because I think that just made such a huge difference. I loved this curtain rod. I was really, really impressed with the construction of it because most of the time when you have expandable or like telescoping uh, curtain rods, they can kind of start to look cheap when you pull them out. This one was actually made where it came with different lengths of bars and you could kind of build the size that you need. And so if you didn't need it as long, you could take out one of the bars. And what happened is, is it created a super clean line all the way across and only the ends expand in and out, just depending on if you need a little extra length. And to me, it makes it look like one solid bar all the way across instead of one that's kind of expandable and it just looks so much more expensive, but it wasn't. Like I said, I was originally gonna DIY this bar and when I priced out the things I would need in order to make it, it was gonna be about $100. I was able to get this bar for about $60, I believe, with tax and all that which is almost half the price. And I'm super impressed with the quality. It came with all the hardware I needed, was super easy to put together, just absolutely love it. And I believe it comes in a brass color too. So I'll definitely leave it linked for you below because I think it's a great option for not just a super long stretch of windows, but for pretty much any window, just pick your different sizes. I was also super impressed with the curtains. They are basically a cheap, <laughs> like sheet curtain but I love the texture of them. I love the, it's basically just linen. It's a beautiful linen color, beautiful linen texture. And I just used the really cheap clips in order to create a faux pleat on the top. And I think it worked so well. And so I was able to take cheaper curtains, make them look more elevated with the faux pleat. And also it was able to fold over the tops and create a custom length without sewing or without getting them tailored, which was huge. So I was able to use a less expensive curtain and make it look super custom. And I think it worked so well in the space. And so I will definitely leave those links for you too, because I was very impressed with the quality of them. And I think that they are beautiful for almost any space, just because they are so, so neutral. But I hope that you are loving how this room is coming together. I know I am. We enjoy it more and more every single day. That's kind of the beauty of living in a working project like this. And so I hope you're enjoying this more real time kind of progress of a fairly simple project. We're not building anything. We're not renovating anything, but it still takes time. And I hope it's encouraging to you that you can make these tiny changes as you go and kind of just keep building on them. And eventually you won't even recognize the space that you have in front of you. Cause I know this space already looks so drastically different from where we started in episode one. So I am so excited to continue sharing this progress with you. Upcoming in the next episodes, we need to tackle the fireplace. I really want to try to give it a nice lime wash. 
we need to finish the antique dresser that's outside, just clean it up, give it some new hardware and get it inside. We also need to go thrifting and really try to hunt down a console for behind the sofa. I just think that functionally and also the way that it will look and kind of complete this empty space is just going to be a game changer for this room. So we really need to try to hunt that down along with an antique chair as a drop zone over in the entry. And then basically all that's left is just styling, which is crazy that we're already this close to being done. But there's still lots of projects like I just mentioned, I guess. So definitely subscribe if you have not already so that way you don't miss any of the future episodes coming up on this makeover series. And I will see you next time. Bye.